Welcome to Creepy Stuff. Today we will embark on a journey into one of the most notorious secret societies of the 18th century, the Hellfire Club. We'll explore the origins and sinister history of the infamous club that haunted the hills of Dublin, Ireland. Our story begins atop Montpellier Hill, where tales of debauchery, ritualistic terror and devilish pacts took root. Imagine this, it's the early 1700s and Dublin is a bustling city, but just outside its limits, hidden in the misty, windswept hills, is a place that whispers with unspeakable darkness. Montpellier Hill, an isolated spot with a view of the city below, becomes the home to a group of men who, by day, are part of Dublin's elite society. But by night, they gather under the guise of freedom and enlightenment to indulge in blasphemy, decadence and worse. This was the Hellfire Club. The Hellfire Club wasn't just any social group. It was a collection of Ireland's wealthiest and most powerful men. They reveled in scandal, thumbing their noses at the strict religious values of the time. Their meetings were held in a hunting lodge perched on Montpellier Hill, built on the ruins of an ancient cairn, disturbing the burial ground of those long dead. They sought not just to entertain themselves, but to openly defy God and to consort with the devil himself. But what exactly went on behind the walls of their eerie stone lodge? The stories are chilling. Some claim that members would leave an empty chair at the head of their table, a seat reserved for Lucifer. There were rumors of black masses where they sacrificed animals or worse in order to summon dark forces. They desecrated holy symbols, turning religious rites into grotesque parodies, all while laughing in the face of damnation. Some say the devil himself would visit these gatherings, drawn to the brazenly wicked acts of the club members. One of the most infamous legends involves a night when the Hellfire Club hosted a mysterious stranger. No one knew who he was or how he arrived, but he was welcomed without question. As the night wore on, this guest engaged in their games of cards and drink until one player accidentally dropped his hand beneath the table. When he bent down to retrieve his cards, he froze, because what he saw wasn't human. The stranger's legs weren't legs at all. They were cloven hooves. In terror, the members scrambled, but the figure simply vanished leaving behind only the stench of sulphur and a lingering darkness that haunted Montpellier Hill ever after. But this wasn't the only supernatural occurrence. Montpellier Hill became known for strange fires that would erupt without cause. Local villagers whispered that these were no accidents. These were the results of the Hellfire Club's dark rituals gone awry sacrifices that had offended otherworldly entities. One fire in particular is said to have ravaged the lodge, burning it almost to the ground. The members claimed it was a careless accident, but survivors spoke of a night of screams and shadows when something not of this world set the blaze. The darkness surrounding the Hellfire Club wasn't confined to their rituals. Their influence and cruelty extended to the world beyond Montpellier Hill. Stories tell of a local farmer who crossed paths with the club and when he refused to sell his land they retaliated in the most horrific way. He was found mutilated in a way no animal or man could have done. Some say it was punishment 
others say it was a warning. And it wasn't just the locals who feared them. One story recounts the death of a servant girl thrown from a window of the lodge after allegedly witnessing something she wasn't meant to see. Her body, broken on the rocks below, was left as a warning to anyone who dared intrude on the Hellfire's activities. Yet, even the most powerful and wicked men eventually meet their end. By the late 1700s, the Hellfire Club dissolved, perhaps destroyed by the very forces they sought to summon. But the lodge on Montpellier Hill remained, haunted by shadows of the past. Visitors still report strange occurrences, doors slamming on their own, disembodied voices and an oppressive sense of evil lingering in the air. Even today, people climb Montpellier Hill to see the ruins of the old lodge, hoping to catch a glimpse of the paranormal. Some return with chilling tales of ghostly figures in the mist, while others... well, some never return at all. Montpellier Hill still holds its secrets, and the spirits of the Hellfire Club may never truly rest. Thank you for joining me on this journey into the shadows. The Hellfire Club's legacy is a reminder of the dark corners of human desire, where power, greed and the lust for the forbidden can open doors best left closed. <laughs>